trees, your yellow leaves move me. Dancing moves your painted red shakes the room. When I get there, I let my feet roam. When I get there, I'll break in your arms, I'll lose control. Hey guys, welcome back to I Will Wander. We are fishing at the moment. Just north of Penticton. Uh, there's a spot just off the highway that's uh, not too bad normally. If they're on, it's a pretty good spot. And been here for a while. Just started the camera a little late, a little smoky. The fire's almost out. I'm gonna do one or two more lures and then gonna head her up the highway. It is a beautiful spot. Especially on a sunny day, but even even when it's cloudy, it overcome. Ooh, sorry, I got smoke. Um, so I'm going with same as the previous video. Can you give that boy a try? And I'll let you know. That's it for today for the fishing. That's the last thing I was using right there. No luck whatsoever today. Not even a nibble. But it was nice to get out for a few hours anyway. Get some fresh air. I'll give you a better look at the spot where I'm fishing. Um, had a little fire by the by the lake. Tried out all my all my lures. I restrung the um, I restrung this rod a little while ago and um, reel, I guess. Uh, I wasn't able to. Um, the first time I was able to test it was today, and no issues whatsoever. Casts very well. Bunches up a little bit, but not the end of the world. It always does that until the string kind of settles down. Put away my outdoorsy stuff, and I'll give you a, a quick look of. Uh, our <laughs> I'll give you a quick look at uh, where I've been fishing here in beautiful British Columbia. So Penticton, 
is that way about uh, probably a 10 minute drive and Kelowna is that way 15-20 so I'm, I'm basically right in the middle of Kelowna so without being too jarring here I'll pick this up and I'll give you a sense a better sense there's Okanagan Lake and if you can see it there there's a Penticton sign right there they kind of did a Hollywood thing with that sign should be able to see it there and there's the lake the fire spot fire is out this gorgeous hat is available at iwillwander.com as you guys are probably aware and there's a little more of the scenery that I've been enjoying Oh, I didn't catch any fish. Still, really good day. Kind of feels like the last bit of winter in this area because it's going to get incredibly hot here very, very soon. So uh, it being cool like it was today was kind of nice. Kind of into a part two of this one. This shirt, if you're a friend of the show, means it's a painting day have all the materials laid out. Going to do a little different technique. Uh, I'm going to apply a bunch of dollops as I'll show you as I uh, go along with it. And then going to use different sponge squares to manipulate the material. Also going to use these metallic scraper things that you buy at the dollar store to move the paint around to interesting effect. Kind of like that one there. Similar to that. We'll see. Never know what's going to be the end result. Um, before I forget, at the end of each of these little videos I'm doing, I usually post some photos, some still photos, and they stay up for maybe five seconds each, then it goes on to the next one, on to the next one. Um, generally, a little bit of funky music going in the background, um, <clears throat> some kind of mood thing musically. And if you weren't already aware, those photos are all for sale over at iwillwander.com. Um, not all, most of them though. If it looks like it's in poster format, where it's got a frame around it, then uh, that image is for sale in poster form over at iwillwonder.com. This hat, this glorious, wondrous garment, uh, is an I Will Wander garment, and it, it's also for sale over at uh, iwillwonder.com, as are many other um, similar, unique garments for the brand. So let's get at this painting and uh, I'll probably be a little punch here as we go along because uh, uh, the fumes get to me even with the, uh, the modern paints and with the fans on and the windows open. Phase two, initial aspect applied. That isn't entirely random, believe it or not. I uh, kind of do this thing where my mind kind of goes soft focus. It's hard to explain. And I can get a visualization of much of this. Not necessarily all of this, but it isn't random is what I'm trying to say. So then we come in with a scraper thing and start this process comes up and I'll show you as it progresses. There is what is probably going to be the final result. So put the dollops of paint as I showed you and then I use um, metallic scrapers like you would use to clean a pan or a stove or something and it creates these really interesting patterns on the canvas and it makes for a beautiful painting it's called long love again i have no clue where these names come from it doesn't have anything to do with the painting or how my day is going or any of that um, but that's what it's called it's called long love I'll take a still photo of it when it's completely dry and I'll post that up with the rest of the photos that I either took this week or that are on sale over at 
the main the main website iwillwonder.com thanks for watching guys <clears throat> excuse me thanks for watching guys i'll uh, see you probably in a couple of days to a week and if you haven't already if you could take a second to subscribe to the channel uh, it would help me out i'll see you soon